I am Lord Otranto Aventiva, rightfully betrothed of Lady Josephine Montillier. Songs of your exploits have spread to my city, Inquisitor. It's humbling to make your acquaintance. It is a pity it will not last longer. Before we duel, I trust you find the weapon to your satisfaction. I trust you've made this a fair fight, Lord Otranto. Upon my honor. Shall we begin? An admirable start, Inquisitor. Perhaps House Trevelyan isn't the obscure backwater I've heard it to be. I'm glad Lady Montillier isn't here, exquisite as I've heard her appearance to be. Cutting you down in front of Josephine would have given a poor first impression of House Otranto to my bride. Strange. I would think the Otrantos already have enough blood on their hands after cheating the Terrazzas. Who told you? You dare to bring up that slander here? Inquisitor, I will personally... Stop! Josephine. Lady Montillier. What a pleasure to... What are you doing? Josephine, I can't take the chance that you might have to marry him. That's not your decision. The Inquisition needs you. I need you. Yet you threw yourself into danger. Why do this? Why risk everything we've built? Why risk your life? Because I love you. You... You do? He does? Yes, Joseph. I love you so much. I love you too. Well fought. Lord Otranto. I'd assumed your liaison with the Inquisitor was an affair of passion or convenience, Lady Montillier. But I'm not fool enough to stand in the way of true affection. The Otrantos regretfully withdraw the terms of our betrothal. Thank you. Do not thank me. I know when I'm outmatched. I can't imagine a better ending. But wouldn't you be impressed by a dueling scar? My dearest lord, I love you precisely the way you are. Just do kiss me again.
I can't stop thinking about your duel in Val Royo. Running into the middle of the crowd, the noise, the swords flashing. I was so worried for you, but at the same time, well, it was the most exciting thing I've seen in ages. You do remember what this Inquisition has been doing, don't you? Allow me to correct myself. The most exciting thing I have seen that didn't threaten to stop my heart. You know, when I first laid eyes on you back at Haven, I hadn't an inkling we'd become so close. Something suggested you were special the moment I saw you. I'm glad it did. These moments seem so dear. Especially given your greater calling. Sometimes I must remind myself that I'm required to share you with the rest of the world. Hang the world. It can survive without the Inquisitor and Josephine now and then. For now, I very much agree. <laughs>